Hello everybody, welcome back aboard Paragon. First, I want to say thank you for all of the great suggestions you gave us in the comments of our last real-time update video. In case you missed that one, then click on this link to get caught up. We gave your suggestions a lot of thought and came up with a plan for a new video series. We're going to call it Paragon's Favorite Stuff. In this new series, we're going to tell you about all of the things that we've found most useful in our cruising life. Basically, whatever it is, if we really liked it, we'll cover it. I'm also kind of thinking of this as what I would want to tell myself 25 years ago when I first started living aboard a sailboat and was at the very beginning of my cruising life. Now, just in case you're wondering, this is all going to be in addition to our regular weekly videos that tell the story of our voyaging and our occasional interviews. So again, it's in addition to, not instead of. So let's get started. I'd like to introduce you to one of the most important pieces of gear we have on the boat. My little friend, the Watch Commander. <laughs> Keeping an effective watch on an offshore voyage is critically important for safety. And it's not just about looking around for ships. There are a whole bunch of things you might have to check on at regular intervals, like how your engine's doing, seeing if there's water in the bilge, trimming sails, adjusting course. The list of things to check when underway can be huge. And if you're single-handed on a long-distance offshore passage, then watch-keeping is a whole different ballgame because you also have to effectively integrate rest into it. The watch commander is a special alarm used by mariners to maintain an effective watch while underway. I consider it essential safety equipment on the boat. And for many reasons, which I'll explain in this video, I wouldn't want to go offshore without an alarm system like this one. When I first started single-handing offshore, I didn't know that a product like this even existed. In 2003, I sailed my West Sail 32 sailboat named Valiant from Marsh Harbor in the Bahamas directly to Newport, Rhode Island. That 950 nautical mile passage took just over nine days. During this passage, I used an actual kitchen timer, like this one, to alert me at regular intervals to check for ships. But there were so many problems with this. As I rested behind the dodger in the open cockpit, sometimes the wind, seas, and engine noise got so loud that I couldn't even hear the kitchen timer. It just wasn't loud enough. Or sometimes after checking everything, I would forget to reset the alarm. Luckily, I made it to Newport without any catastrophes, but I knew that I would never want to do a sail like that again with just a kitchen timer. Then I found the watch commander. Let me explain how this thing works. To power on the device, you have to connect this wire to a 12 volt power supply. I hooked ours up to a circuit breaker that I mounted right here by the companionway. That way, all I have to do is turn this switch on to turn the watch commander on. You set this knob to a number of minutes. You can set it for as little as three minutes, or to as much as 90 minutes, or to a bunch of increments in between. As soon as you set the dial to a number of minutes, the watch commander starts the countdown. When that amount of time has elapsed, it starts lightly beeping out of a little speaker behind these three tiny holes. When the light beeping happens, you just hit this red button, and it stops the beeping and restarts the countdown. The beeping is definitely loud enough to get you up from your resting state, but it's not too jarring. Now, if for whatever reason you don't hit that red button, then after 30 seconds of light beeping, a second alarm goes off. The second alarm is an unbearably loud, ear-piercing screech that comes out of this big speaker. Believe me, you don't ever want to hear that big alarm. It's so loud that not only is it guaranteed to get you up, it's also guaranteed to wake everyone throughout the whole boat. Think of the loudest thing you've ever heard in your life, 
and then imagine multiplying that volume by 10. That's how loud this thing is. Mo calls it the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. So when that light alarm goes off, you immediately start scrambling to hit that red button so that the big alarm doesn't go off. Just to give you an idea of how loud it is, I'm going to let the watch commander go to this second level alarm. You might want to turn your volume down for this. Ready? All right, so I'll turn it on. The light beeping starts, and in about 30 seconds, the big alarm is going to go off. It's so loud. Once you hear that alarm, you just don't want to hear it ever again. So when the little alarm or the big alarm goes off, all you have to do is hit that red button and it'll reset the timer. So that's how it works. Now I'd like to tell you about how I've used the Watch Commander over the past 16 years. I'm going to show you some things about how I like to do watches on my boat when we're offshore. First, on a long distance offshore passage, I like to have three people aboard. That way, our watch rotation can be three hours on and six hours off. Fifteen minutes before your watch ends, you wake up the next person. The next crew has fifteen minutes to get up, go to the bathroom, get all their gear on, and make a hot drink for their watch. Whenever anyone is alone in the cockpit, they're clipped in. So the first thing the next crew does is clip in. On Paragon, you can clip in right here at the companionway before you come out. Or right here on the starboard side of the cockpit, or right here on the port side of the cockpit. The person going off watch tells the person going on watch anything that they need to know. Like, did you see any ships? How have the wind and weather conditions been progressing? And anything else relevant. Then the person going off watch can rest for six hours. Now here I am on watch. I have the radar and chart plotter swung out and angled to wherever I'm sitting in the cockpit. I have the VHF right here with the squelch adjusted and the volume turned all the way up. I have my high power flashlight right here. I have my thermos full of coffee. And I have the watch commander. We basically never turn the watch commander off. When we're offshore, then I usually have it set for 15 minutes. Every time the light alarm goes off, I press the button and then scan the horizon, check the chart plotter and radar, check the course, check the sails, and check anything else that might need looking at. Then I press the button to give myself another full 15 minutes and repeat this for the next three hours. Now if the person on watch nods off and doesn't hear the light alarm, then the loud alarm goes off and they pay the price for having to hear it. Also, everyone down below gets up to make sure everything's okay. When I'm off watch down below as captain, I get a lot of reassurance by not hearing that loud alarm. That way, I know the person on watch is doing their checks. This is actually really a big deal for me. When we're in heavy weather and I know the person in the cockpit is having a demanding time, then when I hear that light alarm go off and then get silenced, then I know that they're okay in keeping an effective and safe watch. So that's a little look at our watch alarm system. This one has been counting down and lightly beeping aboard Paragon for many tens of thousands of nautical miles. And it's become such a crucial system for us to have aboard that I even have two backups ready to go. Unfortunately, at the time of publishing this video, I wasn't able to find the Watch Commander available for purchase online. However, I did find a very similar product called the Aqua Alarm Last Watch 2, which is available for sale today. There's a link to more information on it in the description below. Do you use a watch alarm system? If so, let us know what it is in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, then please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Look okay?
Yeah, you can't see the yellow of the that, can you? No, we we checked everything already, so. I just didn't know if you could see that no, or not. No, you can't. Okay, are you ready? <sighs> Make me laugh. I am a better boat mechanic than you are. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I do more on Paragon than you'll ever do. <laughs>